Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nono Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials and this tutorial in particular we're actually going to cover something I've been asked uh, a couple times and I actually see in, on Apple support forums a lot regarding iMovie but here I'm going to open up iMovie to start off and uh, I created a project, uh, well I've been, we've been following through our iMovie tutorials and this project here, the same project and be sure to check out my previous tutorials um, if you want to. I'll have a link in the description actually for a playlist that includes all of the tutorials that we've covered previously. You may find something that may actually answer your question if it's not answering your question in this tutorial. But I believe I previously covered how to import into iMovie, the best ways to import, but this is actually, I'm gonna cover how to import from an external device. And uh, as always, it was always the best way. The best way to import is going straight from this import option from the top screen here. You just hit that and then find your file, uh, maybe on your desktop, maybe in your documents, um, and just import it. And then it could be on your devices, which is external devices, which is what we're gonna actually cover in this tutorial. So let me, I got a USB here. I'm a, I don't really have any external hard drive. I just have a, I'm gonna have a USB. I'm gonna plug that in right now and it should pop up right here. It's gonna be a flash drive USB. Um, and inside of it, I have uh, my just normal SanDisk, and also I have the iMovie tutorial import. And it's uh, if I can click it, I can launch it through my computer. And it's just a 38 second clip. It's actually what we what we have in in our iMovie tutorials, uh, what we were working on. But here we are. It's gonna be inside of my uh, flash drive. It's nowhere on my computer. It's just on my flash drive. So without while it's on my flash drive. I'm actually going to go to into iMovie and I'm going to import it from iMovie. I mean, from my flash drive to my iMovie. And the way I'm going to do this, this is the best way. This is the first way you should ever try to import from an external drive. Or and uh, so, <laughs> let me just to show you guys import. You're just going to go hit import, and uh, from here, this is where you're going to choose. You're going to choose import two, and I'm going to import it to my iMovie tutorials. This is the events basically. So iMovie tutorials is what I'm going to import it to. And here we are now. We see under devices we now have the option of flash drive, which is what we had. And within flash drive, you'll be able to find your clip. And here's our clip. You can just play it and make sure it's fine here. And uh, there we are. 38 second clip tells you something. And it's an MPEG for movie file type. So I'm going to simply, it says .mp4 as well. So I'm going to import selected. And it should be no problem at all. We'll have it straight down in our, after you see the progress bar going up here, imported successfully. Oh, well, I believe it did. Let's check it out here. Let's see, where did it go? Oh, I'm under rejected. So I'm gonna go under uh, hide rejected, or you can go to all clips. I'm gonna go hide rejected. That's what I, what I prefer. And here we are, there we are. I was kind of worried where this was at, but yeah, it should appear completely, it should run completely fine. And you should have the clip. You shouldn't have any problem. And I think I just said should like about six times. Now, if you're having problems importing that way by going import and then finding it on your devices and importing, um, I, the other way I suggest, this is the second way basically, is uh, first by opening up your external drive and looking inside and then dragging it straight to your desktop. Now, let it transfer over, of course, let it fully transfer over. It should say, it may be depending on like how long, how large your, since mine's only 38 seconds, only gonna take a few seconds, <laughs> or not even seconds, but if yours is a lot larger, it might take a lot longer. So, um, I have it on my desktop now. Now you could either simply go back to iMovie, let me open up here, and then go to import again, and then go to desktop, and then you'll be able to find your clip there, which is mine's iMovie tour import, and just hit import selected. Or another way is you could always just simply drag and drop. For this example, I'm actually have it down here, my clip, right below my iMovie. And I'm gonna drag it all the way over here to my events and drag it in. I, the way I reason I do it this way, because when you go over here, it gives you an option to drop it in here as well, which I don't, the last few times I've dropped it in here or dropped it straight into my project, it really froze up on me. As you can see right here, it's already lagging. You can see it lagging bad. Like um, what I mean by lagging is just like skipping around. It's not, it's not, it's not like as smooth as it should be. So what I do is I go straight up from the bottom down here. And I, before I even put it into iMovie, I go straight to my events 
and I drag it straight into the event I want it in. That way it's all organized already. So in this case, it's gonna be in iMovie Tutorials. I drag it in and now we should after, well, since we already have it in here, it's not really gonna transfer over anymore because it recognizes that we have it in here already. So that, that was just, yeah, it's I was basically duplicating it. So there's no point of doing what I just did, but I just I'm just explaining how you guys should import into iMovie, and that's that's how I do it in in this case as well. And uh, for this example, I'm just gonna delete our current iMovie tutorial, delete all that. Yes, move to delete, and we're gonna drag our new project, select it all, and drag it right in here. And now we have our new I mean we can work on our tutorials from this project. Other than that, you guys be sure to leave any comments in the section below if you um, have any other questions or if I did something that may have been confusing, I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And like I said, I do have a link in the description for all my tutorials regarding um, that I've previously done. I believe this is tutorial 36 or 7. But other than that, catch you guys next video. Later. Let my life be the proof. The proof.